Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Ronald and one of the things that I have been uh, figuring out over time is that in Verde Vista, a lot of times when I have a bunch of hotspots and panoramas, I need to do the same repeating action all over again. I click on actions, then I'm looking around, I'm like okay, show height components, click, then I need to open up the effects over here, Turn this off because I don't like the fade and then uh, sorry I think three or four clicks and I want it only be a show and and then I'm going to make my decision what I want to show uh, or hide so maybe this one or that one or whatever kind of thing right and then I hit done but what if there's a way to auto click so as I'm a little nerdy geeky into this and uh, been wandering around, a uh, rule uh, suggested me to try out Keyboard Maestro. And Keyboard Maestro is an automation tool for Mac users. Um, I don't know about Windows. If you do know, let it know in the comments. And what we can do with this is we can say, okay, let's go over here and uh, give it a name, show height components uh, action, for example. And then um, I need to set up a trigger. It can be just a, a hotkey, something on your keyboard or whatever. Uh, so this is my stream deck uh, and uh, I search for a KM, KM link. I can add it over here and I do this last thing. And then uh, on my desk there's this thing and I can press the button and this thing gets triggered. So I set up my trigger with another program, uh, but I could do anything else here as well. Now. I'm going to uh, say, okay, I can trigger this, great, but what does it need to do? Well, first of all, uh, it needs to click here on this little uh, blue thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little screenshot, like so. I'll be doing an action. I select all actions, and then over here I search for a uh, click found, click it found image, this one. I drag and drop that in there. In the image here, I paste the image that I just uh, made a screenshot of. And uh, I'll be saying relatively to the found image center. So, okay, let's try that out. So I click here. Now I click my button on the stream deck. And my mouse automatically goes there and clicks there once. So that's great. Um, and now I want it to click automatically uh, in here. So the show height components. I'm going over here, make a screenshot, back to Keyboard Maestro, uh, duplicate, and I remove this image and paste a new image. Okay, so let's see how this works. Clicking again, click, and it doesn't click on the next thing. Why? Because Keyboard Maestro is so fast that within the milliseconds, 3D Vista was not able to load this up. And so Keyboard Maestro is like, well, I've done my job here. So we need to add in a little uh, delay. Set action delay. Put that in here. Let's try 0.5 seconds. Um, and let's see what happens now. So clicking here again, click. Wait 0.5 seconds and it doesn't work. Ah, between actions. So set between actions, delay for this macro, 0.5 seconds. So half a second to wait. Okay, let's try this again. Click, 0.5 seconds. And it doesn't go there. Let's disable this action and disable this action and make sure this one is working. So. Use it again. Okay, I cannot find the image. Okay, so I was not able to find the image um, using only a little part of this thing. So what I did instead is I made a very, um, I'll be making a very large screenshot of this so that there's more identifiers in the image, uh, like so. I'm going to Keyboard Maestro, adding in this one. And but what I need to do now is I'm 
should be careful with this relatively to the found image center, which is like the center of what I just did. And it could be this one, it could be this one. So now I need to say, well, go more or less about 600, and 600 pixels to the right and 330 pixels to the bottom uh, of the image top left part. So uh, the top found image top left part. Uh, what did I say? 600? 600 and 330. So go 600 pixels to the right, 330 pixels to the right, uh, to the bottom from the top left corner of this image. So that's great. I'm testing this out and it clicks right there. Now what we need to do is we need to say over here uh, in the show height components, uh, I'm going to take this part of the image. Duplicate, I'm going to disable this for now. Later, I'm going to put everything into place. Paste a new image. Now it's going to be more or less 40, 42 pixels to the right, 100 to the bottom. Let's test this out. Yes, and so there it goes. Uh, it automatically goes there. Now I need to go, let's see, from this point on, 35 pixels to the bottom from the current position of the mouse. I'm not gonna make another screenshot. So I'll just say, from the current mouse location, go 35 pixels to the bottom. relatively to the front uh, from the current mouse location go 35 pixels to the bottom so I'm going to keep them keep them both on now this time I'll put this on high just to show that's gonna work so I'll uh, trigger it again three two one and there it goes so it goes there and goes 35 pixels to the bottom FX um, and then from there on I'll be saying okay great Go about 185 pixels to the right and 60 to the bottom. 185, 60, 185, 60. Copy paste. 185, 60. Okay, let's try this out. And there we go. And it needs to clip. Maybe because there's no delays in between that it might be too fast. So I'm going to enable this action again. Let's try it again. Yeah, okay, now it's turning it off again. Let's see. Okay, as you can see, and it requires quite some willpower to actually do this and sometimes it's a bit eh, but you know, it, when it works, it works and that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. I'm going to try this one more time. Okay, so for some reason, let's see, uh, the first part here. It seems that it is clicking a little bit, it should be a little bit more to the right side. So let's make it 45 pixels. Yes, that's better. Okay, and there you go, fade. And now need to go from this current position about 25 pixels to the bottom. Zero, 25. And then set to none. 
and uh, from that point on I can manually say okay I'm going to click this one or that one and hit done and that already is going to save a lot of work so now I'm going to turn this off let's remove this all and let's see everything in action so I'm going to enable this action enable this action all right let's try this out click 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 boom and now I can make my own decision and done. And I can go to the next one, hit this thing, click, 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 click. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> okay, it's not not perfect, okay? But you know, it's uh I kind of wanted to show a little bit of the possibilities of this and um, when you get this, you also understand that you can use this for many other things at some point. So in this case, what I would start to do is, okay, I, I see that 3D Vista is, is keeping this effects layer on the, at this point open. So I would make two actions in this case. Let's see. Let's do that. So we have uh, one. Copy paste. This is two. And I go to my stream deck. Uh, Call this one, copy paste, this is going to be two. Okay, and actually what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the second all the time because at the moment this little thing is opened up, then it doesn't need any, let's see, uh, so keep on maestro. So with this one, uh, here I'm saying on click show that's good but then the 35 pixels this one should probably be disabled let's try this out so I'm going to try two now click 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 okay uh, it should click a little lower in this case as you can see From the current mouse location. Uh, yeah, so it's now 60 plus 35 is 105 pixels. This should do it. Let's try again. Okay, a little higher. Let's try again. A little higher, <laughs> we're getting there, 90, and there we go, and okay, great, and now I'm going to make my selection, hit done, go to the next one, hit the second one, and I can make my selection, show this thing, third one, and I, now I just, you know, I have hands free, you see, I'm not, I'm not clicking anywhere. Uh, Say this thing over here, go right here. You see my hands? Yeah, yeah, and it's clicking, it's clicking, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, it done. And the next one, uh, two, yeah, yeah, not clicking, I'm not clicking. <laughs> and there we go, okay, and do this one. So, this is kind of uh, how you can do this um, with a bunch of hotspots. Um, you can obviously do this with many other kind of um, tasks that are like very boring at some point. Uh, if you need to do other things, show high hotspots or whatever action you can come up with. But the idea is that you understand a little bit how this move and clicking works. Because at that point you'll be thinking, ah, okay, I can do this as well and I can do that as well. That's kind of like the point of this tutorial. So um, I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. Um, and yeah, well, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time and have a great day. All right. Bye.